according to some of my friends, this might actually be the last episode of Pride Nexus. I really hope that's not true because only three episodes, really, GW. Like, what you, what are you even, what are you trying to do? Waste my time? Okay. So with that, let's get straight into this episode. I'm really curious if it. <laughs> we'll see if it concludes or not, it, or if my friends are just trolling me. <sighs> oh man, this intro never. Z oh, such a good intro. I really like how they have um, basically brought the horror that is the Necrons, like in full force. They've really kind of shown the Necrons as being terrifying, which is exactly how they're supposed to be, you know? Oh no. I we're back after some technical difficulties. <laughs> uh, we'll see if that pops up again because that was annoying. <laughs> I'm literally recording this at uh, midnight, and I have to go to work at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, so hopefully this is all good. <laughs> Just because this is really the only time I can find to record this. Oh, oh, jeez. I wonder if it's going to end with them all dying. Because I don't really see how else it would resolve, really. From his point of view, interesting. <laughs> that is so interesting that they're going from like from the human perspective to um You think he'd be a little more hands off? Oh, if there was an entire squad, they'd be doomed. Oh, you like how he's just sitting there. Oh my god. Bro. Worst boss ever, just like trying to micromanage everything. Really? He got taken out by a swarm of unmodified humans. Okay. Oh. We're clear. We go west. There's an evacuation locus at the city's core. We can get off world. I believe so. I've never been off world. Be strong, Atia. Courage will see you through these days of horror. Yeah, like everyone said, the guardswoman doesn't actually exist. Obviously. What's she gonna do? I like how no. Oh man. We are not far from the city's Leave it to his sister not to help the civilians. Only a few hours west from here. <laughs> this is true. I saw no evacuation vessels rising into the sky. Nor have I heard reports from our forces there. Is this a tactical briefing, sister? Or a disapproving lecture? Now you lie to them. Shuttle or not, this is the best way to link up with any remaining Imperial forces. It's their only hope. I won't steal that from them. What kind of angel of death are you? <laughs> the kind that cannot tell children they will die tonight in their fallen city. Thank God the salamander with them. <laughs> There might be a chance for these people. When a people forget their duty, they are no longer human and become something less than beasts. 
Jesus. Die and be forgotten. I know the Prime Index. That's an ugly piece of scripture, sister. It does not make it any less true. I will not become a slave to false hope. No? What about having a little faith? Exactly. What did you say? If you cannot muster any hope, I'll settle for another falter. <laughs> and to think the first episode I was so mad at the guards woman for not having a las gun. But it makes sense. Just jeez, they messed him up. Don't worry, just reanimate my bro. Reanimation protocol, better roll that. Yep. <laughs> he rolled properly. Got to love that living metal. Oh, is he checking out how damaged he is? You know, I thought the majority of, like, other than overlords and stuff, date. I thought only overlords and stuff like that had personalities. He seems to have slightly personality. I thought, like, the lower ranks of the Necron were all, like, um. You know, emotionless. Don't really have memories of anything. I don't think he has memories, but he has a personality, kind of. At least it seems that way to me. How many of those things did he make? Jeez. Don't look. Are we close to the evacuation site, sister? Yes. Just keep moving. Our world is ash. Its soil and soul defiled. You speak to me of blessings, preacher. This is going to be interesting. The throne of gold. Are you blind as well as foolish? All is not yet lost. I don't know about that one, man. Just keep walking. I'm pretty sure everything is pretty much lost at that point for this world. I mean, he went too far, clearly. You saved those four wretches, dragging them into the shadows and granting them life for another handful of hours. You have no right to speak to me of faith, nor of failure. Least of all, forgiveness. The Emperor is not a forgiving god. Oh, what? When your faith is challenged, you blame others for their weakness. Because you lost the war. Oh, did she just... <laughs> did she really just kill the preacher? Angel, what's wrong? We are here. Oh-ho! Oh. 
We'll head west and make for the city's edge. Once we're there, we'll the Oh, God. Whatever happens, keep heading west. I just... Mm. No offense, an intercessor would not be able to take down a Scorpec destroyer. I don't... I guess he is a protagonist, Astartes, so he has that buff. Is she gonna save him? Ah. Yeah, no, dude. Sounds about it, right? Okay, at least the score picks are as terrifying as I remember. I might want to triple, like, quadruple tap that. <laughs> Assuming he's dead. Man. Jeez. There's literally no hope, is there? We head west. But, but what about the con? No. <laughs> It really ended with them all dying. I mean, fit, fitting for 40k, but jeez. Running away again. Scorn, you're alive. As are you, I see. Do you recall what I said? To go west. Always west. And may the Emperor be with you. Come with us. Please. Not this time. The Emperor still has need of me. Your hands. I hunted dragons. <laughs> Scratches won't slow me down now. Go. Stay in hiding where you can. Make
Break for the city's edge. Tell them Sakan of the Salamanders sent you. This is crazy, man. Miracle, maybe? Ah. Uh... Really? <laughs> what hubris drives you that you believe you can hide from the rage of my brothers from the fire they'll bring such intriguing delusion this exchange ends now oh my god it would be great if there's more episodes. I really hope it doesn't end here. There's actual... Wow, there's actual survivors. It's definitely an interesting way to end, and it definitely grim dark. <laughs> I don't know. I wish there was more. Is all I can say. It feels. I hate to say this, but literally just the three episodes feels kind of pointless. Well, there you have it. That is the full reaction. All three episodes of Pariah Nexus. Overall, really great animation quality. The fight scenes really great. The story, I'm just not feeling it, you know? I think if they had, like, an opportunity for it to be more, like, you know, after after these three episodes, Sarkhan actually hunting down um, Illuminor Zeris or something more significant, it kind of just feels like 
nothing story wise actually mattered. That now I know that's probably a harsh criticism, but that's that's what I get. Other than that, the series was good, just like as a spectacle, you know, just as a oh here's forty k. I also appreciate that it kept grim grim dark. I'm actually surprised Sakan didn't also die. If I'm, I guess leaves it open. Maybe maybe they'll give maybe they'll give us more. I really don't believe so because this is GW we're talking about. You know. Overall, I would rate this. I'm not gonna give it a number, but it is pretty good. Definitely, definitely was worth the watch. Just, um, just for the animation alone. Let me know what else you may want me to watch. I have been watching Black Talon as well, which is uh, Age of Sigmar. Other than that, just give me some suggestions, you know? Just let me know what you want me to watch, and I will maybe check it out. Thank you so much for your time, and with that, Pariah Nexus is done. Have a good night, everyone, and see you next time. Bye.